Hey guys, in this video we'll cover another objective for the MO100 exam and namely we'll work with headers and footers. Before we start, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already so that you don't miss out on any new training content and if you find this video useful please smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. That being said, let's revise this objective. So firstly, we'll need to open the headers and footers context tab and we do that by uh, clicking two times into this area. Perfect, now we have the header and footer context tab available and we can change header and footer. Let's perhaps review this option so we can change the position and how big the header essentially is so we can enlarge it like that let's go back to 0 0.49 perfect we can set the header and footer to be different on the first page so uh, for example when i insert some text here like that you can see that it is repeated respectively and now when we go to the title page, there is no such content. Perfect. Then there are a few pre-built header and footer options. So you can see that they have various formattings and so on. For example, this, this page number, like that. Let's remove the header by clicking here. That also applies to footers, so we can click here. And when you want to quickly jump from your header to the footer, you can click here, go to footer. Perfect. There are also a few convenient options to insert the document information. So here you can choose to insert. You can insert some picture from your computer or the internet or you can insert document info like for example the document title perfect notice that it knows this title because here i have actually inserted into this text field the document title title mo100 Perfect. We can also insert date and time by clicking here and you can choose your format and language. Let's click that. Perfect. A popular option in the footer is to insert the page numbers. So we can click page number, set the position like button and center. And we can also specify a few more things so that the page number will start at a different number, for example, and whether it should continue from previous section. Notice that also, as we have this option applied, the page number is not on the first page. And if we uncheck that, there would be the zero page number, as you can now see. Let's check it again. Perfect. We'll remove page numbers by clicking here. And the last option is to view this link to previous feature. So actually when you have a few sections in your document, you can also set different headers and footers depending on which section is applied to which page. So for example, we can leave the first page as it is and set here a next page section break. So we go to layout, breaks, next page section break. Perfect. We can verify that by showing the hidden symbols. So you can see this section break applied here. And when we click here, you can see section one and section two. 
One thing to notice here is that this is the first page of section 2, which would be different from other pages of the section 2. So in this section, we will disable it. And notice that the section 2 is linked to the previous section. So now, when I in section 1, for example, insert the document, the file name, we can see that in section 2. Now, let's remove that. Perfect, there is no file name. And when I in section 2 unlink this section to the previous section, and now here I insert some, let's say, the file name again, it is not repeated in section 2. So here you can see again the significance of section breaks and sections and how they can help you set few versions of page setup and headers and footers in different parts of your document. So yeah guys, that is all for today's video. I hope you find it useful. If so, smash that like button and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.